So from one tech blogger to another tech blogger. From Jamie Lin, who is a, one of the most popular bloggers in Taiwan right now. And he's going to be talking about a really interesting topic here. How to disagree. How to disagree with people. Let's welcome Jamie Lin. Thank you. Um, it's uh, really perfect that I, uh, I'm following uh, uh, Sasha here, because it, uh, it's also a very similar topic. So you know, my name is Jamie Lin, uh, and uh, today I'd like to share with you on a topic that is, uh, I feel that is very important as how to disagree, because if we do it well, you know, we're gonna make each other's lives uh, better. So I'm a hacker, I'm always uh, trying to figure out how this world uh, works, and I'm always trying to figure out the, if there's any way that we can make it work better. So that's one of the reasons that I picked this topic. Another reason is I've been blogging exactly two years today, exactly two years. And, uh, and I'm not one of your most con uh, conservative bloggers. In fact, I actually always like to choose very controversial topics. For example, here's a, a, a list of uh, the topics I, I, that, that I wrote about. You know, who wants to go the fuck to sleep? You know, Groupon is a scam. Internet kills the music industry. Social media makes New York Times stupid. You know, these are the topics that I like to write about. So. Because of this, I get all you know a lot of comments. Actually, I get more than a, a thousand comments per month. But uh, the truth of the, the, the fact is, uh, a lot of the, these comments are not very good. So it's not adding to the conversation. So that's why I think it's very important that we learn about how to disagree. If we do it well, we're actually contributing to the conversation. We're actually going to make each other's lives better. So uh, a few years ago, I came across this thing called the hierarchy of uh, disagreement, and it, uh, it looks like uh, this. Okay. <laughs> so it goes from uh, man calling to rebuilding the central point, and it goes, uh, you know, each level you go up, you know, you get more value out of the comments. And this is actually not invented by me. It's invented by a person that I respect a lot, it's Paul Graham, uh, who's a, an angel investor, and he's also an essayist. essayist. So here we go. Um, uh, the hierarchy of uh, disagreement. The lowest level is called I mean, name calling. So it usually, usually goes like this: "Fuck you, Jamie. You're a fag." And you know, it's really not adding too, adding too much to the conversation, and it's uh, aimed toward me. So it's not it's not working. The next level, we're seeing something more uh, sophisticated. It's saying, you know, "Jamie, you're a VC. Don't comment on the inter entertainment industry. You're not qualified." It's still not adding much to the conversation because it's still aimed toward me. So you know, don't do this. Uh, the next level, we're starting to see you know something that is more valuable. You know, it usually goes like this. Uh, you know, and hey, uh, you know, this article is wasting my time because it's uh, you know it's full of emotions. So it's, at least it's not aimed toward me. It's aimed toward the article. But it's not, not describing the points. It's describing the tone. So responding to the tone is still not adding to the conversation. By dish three contradiction, we're Finally, starting to see comments that are adding value. So this uh, a DH3 constitution usually goes like this. You know, uh, you know, this is wrong, that is wrong, Jamie. I think this point is wrong. But the problem is, it's not providing any reasons or proof. So it's just saying wrong, and it's just disagree disagreeing uh, for the sake of disagreeing. So don't do this. Uh, by the next level, we're start finally starting to see a more sophisticated disagreement. So it, it would say, Jamie, I think this point is wrong, and here's my proof. So it's a counter-argument. But the problem with DH4 is that you know, it's missing the point. So it's re uh, disagreeing based upon the commenter's misunderstanding of your points. He's not getting your points, but he's disagreeing with you with the proof. So it's, uh, it's adding a little bit of value to the conversation, but it's still not a lot. At the next level, we're finally starting to see uh, disagreements that add value to the conversation. So it would be saying that, Jamie, I think your point is this. I don't agree with you. Here's the, the proof. And it's called refutation. So a refutation is good, but a lot of refutations, uh, you know, the problem is they're refuting the minor points. So they're not refuting the central point of your topic, and they're just disagreeing you, disproving your minor point. So it's adding a little bit of value to the conversation, you know, you know, uh, adding knowledge to the conversation, but it's not adding a lot. Finally, we get to the last level of 
uh, uh, disagreement, which is called refuting the central point. And it usually looks like this. Uh, quote, Jamie, I think you say this, this is your main point, and I disagree with you, and here's why I disagree with you. And I love this type of uh, comments a lot, because it's adding to the conversation, but you, you seldom see that. So again, here's the hierarchy of disagreement. I hope from this day on, we try to apply this letter and try to really disagree well and make, you know, make each other learn. So finally, again, uh, just a recap on how to disagree. A, figure out what the central point is. B, call the person if you need to. C, review the point. And D, provide your reason and proof. And you know, together, guys, learn how to disagree and make this world a better place. Thank you. Jamie, you suck. <laughs> <laughs>